It is Tuesday, September 16th, 2025. Thank you for being here. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields. A lot of areas to watch. Development getting more likely and big areas of heavier rain. We had some of that yesterday. Parts of Trinidad, Antigua, for example. So watching us in the Caribbean back through Belize overnight. These are the spots I'm watching more tropically for development. We'll get into this area here in the Eastern Pacific that could draw rain back into California. This spot here near the Carolinas over toward Virginia, uh, up toward Maryland, monitoring that back through Delaware. This is the spot on the Atlantic that is likely to develop. It'll have a tough go though at times. And then a new spot back behind it, that second tropical wave we were talking about yesterday, that is also gonna be marching across. Plus this rain right here near Bermuda, that's gonna be diving south. Very active, Haiti, the Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico, we have many areas to cover in this video. And you can see the blobs of rain that we've been watching uh, together from overnight. Yesterday, we had those heavy areas of rain. So staying active. We don't have a name system in the Caribbean uh, right now. With that said, we have some serious areas of rain. Costa Rica, we had some mudslides yesterday. We'll watch out for scattered areas of rain back through Jamaica, the Cayman Islands, Cuba. So very active even right through the Bahamas. Then we swing up here. Here's that spin that oddly has not been getting a whole lot of attention, uh, but this is that spin I've been highlighting for days and days, starting to work in near the Outer Banks of North Carolina, uh, back through Virginia over toward Hampton Roads, watching up toward Delmarva. I'll cover that, I'll show you the rain, the winds in that. Then we swing out here in the tropical Atlantic. This spot here is trying to develop. Uh, it is on track from what we've been talking about. We're going to see it make a little bit of a curve. It's going to have a, uh, in the short term, it may try to develop over the next day or so. And then it runs into a hostile environment, which is a good thing. A lot of wind shear above our heads that'll knock off the uh, developing thunderstorm tops. Uh, but then eventually as it gets closer, potentially to Bermuda, it is going to strengthen again. It could get really strong down the road. And here's that new spot coming off the coast of Africa. Plenty of time to watch that. And then we swing out here. Mario, a system that is just kind of hanging out, watching that, that could draw some of the moisture back through the Baja, no doubt, parts of Mexico. And then watching Arizona and Southern California for some heavier rain. There's been some mudslides uh, and some flooding anywhere from Cabo San Lucas uh, back down toward uh, Zahuantaneo over the last uh, couple of days. Heavy areas of rain monitoring that as well on the Eastern Pacific side. Now back to this big area we're watching in the Atlantic, all of the models have this eventually becoming a hurricane, slow development in the short term, but as this gets closer to the Caribbean and hopefully just to the north, staying to the north of the Caribbean, I will monitor that closely. We'll get into the uh, potential uh, kind of an outlook with the uh, path of this. But as it gets closer toward the Caribbean and Bermuda, it should eventually uh, really strengthen potentially into a major hurricane. That's going to be a possibility down the road. All of the major models have this as a hurricane. So Bermuda, heads up. We are watching this very, very carefully. And of course, everyone, uh, just to monitor any changes very early in the development of this, which means there's a, a better chance that there could be some overall changes. Now, what I'm seeing now, here we are in the Caribbean. We get back through Antigua and Barbuda over toward Anguilla just to uh, kind of orient you right here. Uh, there will be that turn back toward the northwest. We'll see that the next couple of days then a little bit more west-northwest, and then we should see more of a turn back toward the northwest. If this all holds, that would keep it a good distance away from us in the Caribbean, but I wanna monitor this because as I mentioned, a developing system a little bit harder to track uh, and kinda see what it uh, eventually wants to do. Now, over the short term, these are those same squiggly lines. This is a day out in time, two days out, three days out, four days out, five days out in time. In the short term, there will be some strengthening. This could become a tropical depression or tropical storm very soon. The name on the list is Gabrielle. And then as I mentioned though, once we get uh, about two and a half uh, days out, it's going to run into that wind shear, which is a good thing. So if it does develop in the short term, it could actually weaken, right? I'll show you that with the uh, computer models in a second. And then eventually it will strengthen uh, quite a bit down the road, potentially into a major hurricane over the very 
and warm waters of the Atlantic. Once it passes by the wind shear, once it passes by the uh, hostile environment. So let's paint the picture. Here we are in the Caribbean, the Gulf. We get into the open waters of the Atlantic. This is the developing area. That's the new area off the coast of Africa and keeping an eye on the spin near the Carolinas and Virginia. Now, let's go out in time here uh, a couple days. We'll work our way into Thursday all of the modeling. This is a look at the European model and the behind the scenes look at that. Just showing the uncertainty, variations of it. So you can see it taking that turn toward the northwest. High pressure is going to be off toward the east. That's the blocker. So since that's over here, that allows it to kind of make that curve. That's why it'll make that curve. There's a lot of fronts over here. Uh, gives it a window to make that turn. Then we go out on time here as we work our way into the weekend, into next week. And I'll stop it here. This is by Monday so we're looking at six days from now and this gives us some of that uncertainty all of the variations of the models are of the European model have this north of the uh, Caribbean but we do not wish a system on anyone I don't uh, I do this channel for safety I don't like storms uh, and I don't wish this uh, on anyone down the road but Bermuda we need to keep a very close eye on as well as the Caribbean since it is a developing system harder to track initially but most of the modeling has this toward the north of the Caribbean and then down the road it could really strengthen and be a potential threat to Bermuda plus back behind it here is that next tropical wave I'm not sure yet if this one will develop I'll let you know what I know what I don't know it should take a little bit more of a westerly track at least initially uh, but a second area that we'll be watching back behind it very common to get active I mentioned mid to late uh, September it would get active and that's exactly uh, what is happening now uh, several areas we're watching these are the two out in the Atlantic this is the American model it is almost spot on to the uh, European model almost all of the models at least today are showing the same thing so let's cover this huge feed of moisture here Central America parts of the Western Caribbean that'll lift up toward Florida there's some of the moisture diving down there's the spot in the mid-Atlantic and here is Mario so we'll cover that but you see how busy it is as a whole right now heavy areas of rain flooding and then multiple areas we're monitoring for tropical development now going out in time here let's stop the clock on Thursday here's Thursday evening you could see this area it's not super developed that's because there's a lot of wind way above our heads kind of knocking some of those uh, storm tops down that's a good thing and then there's that second area back behind it so again this is on Thursday and as I mentioned this is the uh, GFS the American model but almost all of the models are at least showing this as of right now then we go out in time further into the weekend this is Saturday just like I showed you with the European model this would be to the northeast here of the Caribbean and then just monitoring uh, that uh, additional tropical wave and more back behind it as we go out in time and keeping an eye on these areas of rain there's that surge of moisture Bahamas Florida pulling back toward uh, Bermuda then as we work our way through the weekend into next week this here is Monday here's Bermuda right here at this point this area as it lifts up toward Bermuda it is going to encounter very warm water a less hostile environment which means it will really strengthen and then back behind it monitoring this you can see these uh, tropical waves back behind it and then to go out in time into Tuesday now for Bermuda and we'll see if this even shakes out but it will be uh, all based on the timing of these fronts across the United States that come off if they could be strong and quicker that could protect Bermuda if they're a little bit slower that could allow this to move right toward Bermuda big wait and see on that know that I got you covered no one is in monitor mode or action mode at this point so much uncertainty it is way out there and then watching this as we work our way forward these tropical waves into next week that's what we'll be tracking and these are a little more likely to move into the Caribbean maybe not developing but at least some heavier rain so we're going to have lots to track as we work our way into next week now zooming here here's another spot we're watching the mid-Atlantic here's that spin I've been monitoring I've been watching your comments outer banks there's been some gusty winds right up through uh, Delmarva Jersey Shore the winds are going to be picking up today but here is a spin not really uh, tropical in nature but it's acting very much like a, a tropical depression or very weak uh, tropical storm and you see that additional rain pumping inland back through Virginia inland back through North Carolina monitoring that flood threat that rain pumping over toward Salisbury watching over toward uh, uh, Dover 
watching Rehoboth and then swinging up toward Ocean City, uh, New Jersey for some additional rain, kind of weakening as a whole tomorrow, but still a sloppy area with some additional rain as we get into tomorrow. And you can see the center of this uh, kind of pulling in right here as you get toward uh, Kitty Hawk. Uh, that's where the uh, center of this will be. The white shading, those are some winds gusting 40, 50 miles per hour. That is mainly over the water, but along the coast, watching out for beach erosion and those gusty winds today. And you see how this works in later in the day, kind of pulling up toward uh, Norfolk and uh, Virginia Beach, the spin right there, but all along the coast uh, from the uh, Jersey Shore south through the Outer Banks, especially Hatteras North, that's where uh, the beach erosion will be possible, and that's where we'll get some gusty winds. Of course, the higher surf, still gusty winds for tomorrow, but overall this spin, since it will try to work inland, will be diminishing as we go through the uh, day tomorrow, but huge rain totals. We're talking about four to eight inches of rain. Uh, we've been seeing that overnight in spots coming down. It's going to continue southern Virginia back through the Hampton Roads area, monitoring that south as you work your way on 64, back into uh, Rocky Mount, monitoring some heavy flooding, uh, that will heavy rain that will lead to the possibility of flooding right in through here. So again, heads up for this system. It's not getting a lot of attention, but I got you covered right here on this channel. So thank you for sharing that information about the potential of some uh, flooding. Now we swing here and then I wanna show you Mario, what's going on in Southern California with that, parts of Mexico. Here are the heavy areas of rain that we'll be tracking. We'll get to the forecast and the rain totals in a second. Spotty storm still possible. Trinidad and Tobago, Barbados, kind of hit or miss, but more so as we work our way in through here again, Antigua, Barbuda, Anguilla, uh, St. Martin, back through uh, the U.S. British Virgin Islands, uh, the DR, back through Haiti, Jamaica scattered storm. So a little more widespread here. Here's that moisture still pumping in, feeding right up through the Florida Keys, South Florida, Northern Bahamas, that better chance of rain tomorrow. Really an active picture and then watching the Atlantic for that tropical disturbance that is trying to form. This here is on Thursday. You can see some of this moisture pulling up toward the northern Bahamas. Still scattered areas of rain, heavier rain at times. There's the area we're watching in the Atlantic and monitoring this rain in through here. Haiti and the DR in particular back toward Puerto Rico. Flooding will be a possibility. Heads up, rivers are going to be very crazy in spots. Monitor those river crossings very carefully, okay? Uh, those rivers are really going to be running in Haiti and the uh, DR uh, at an elevated uh, level and elevated speed. Here's Mario. It will be weakening. We're going to watch out for some big storms. I've been watching uh, Manitoba over toward uh, parts of uh, eventually uh, Ontario. There's that spot we're watching in the uh, mid-Atlantic. But here's the leftover moisture with with Mario. By tomorrow, this may squeak its way into Southern California. So diminishing in the mid-Atlantic, watching the surge of moisture right in through here. This in through here, uh, the Dakotas back through Minnesota, Wisconsin, uh, back into parts of Nebraska, Kansas, that could be severe. Heads up, and then there's that moisture. Arizona and back through parts of California. Heads up as this moisture lifts in. Still a little uncertain exactly where it's going to go, but flooding will be a possibility with the remnants of uh, Mario back through the Baja parts of Mexico lifting up towards Southern California. Watching Arizona. There are the storms on the move here. There's the blob of rain. Northern Bahamas coming off of Florida. So very active. But again, the storms coming out of the uh, Rocky Mountains, those could be severe as we work our way, especially into tomorrow and again on Thursday. Here's what's left of Mario. Here's the uh, Baja. So we get into uh, Mexico weakening uh, quickly, but that moisture, that's going to be a threat. We've had a lot of flooding in parts of Mexico. We'll go over those rain totals in a second. Now, the sea is very elevated, as I mentioned, near the mid-Atlantic of the U.S., and then we'll be drawing our attention as we work our way through the end of the week. This is Thursday, Friday into the weekend. The Atlantic passageways will get dangerous with that area that will be trying to develop as it moves through the Atlantic. We'll be seeing those swells starting to work in as we work our way into the upcoming weekend. Now, watching these rain totals very critical because where we get the rain, huge amounts. I mentioned this moisture feed the next few days parts of Cuba swinging up towards South Florida, <clears throat> back through uh, the northern Bahamas. 
That's where we're going to get some totals over four inches of rain or over 100 millimeters of rain scattered about Cayman Islands, Jamaica. Some of this could be heavy. Some stronger storms too, watching the gusty winds. If we get some thunderstorms in Jamaica, Haiti and the Dominican Republic, we will get some spots. 100 to 150 millimeters of rain for a three-day rain total. That's why I mentioned the flooding. High risk of that. Haiti and the Dominican Republic back through Puerto Rico, U.S., British Virgin Islands, and Anguilla, uh, St. Martin, St. Barts, Antigua, and Barbuda. And I mentioned this yesterday, it would be more active and a lot of us did see some rain. We're gonna continue with that. We'll get some spots that just get about 25 millimeters of rain, but others a lot more. Back through Puerto Rico, uh, we could see some spots getting two to three inches of some rain. And then this here, while it's less, like we had yesterday in Trinidad, uh, it doesn't mean we're not going to get any. So we do need to watch out for the chance of rain. Some totals could be around 25 to 50 millimeters of rain. Suriname, not as much, bit scattered back through Guyana in Venezuela. And here are those heavy totals, parts of Belize, Guatemala, El Salvador, uh, parts of Nicaragua, especially Western zones, Costa Rica, Panama. Some of these totals uh, will be about four to six inches of rain or 100 to 150 millimeters of rain. And watching anywhere from the Yucatan Peninsula, swinging back toward Mexico proper, some heavier rain. And there's that moisture feed from Mario, keeping an eye on Southern California, just to see how it feeds in. There could be a, a few inches of rain. So that's why I was giving you the uh, heads up with some of that moisture. A little bit drier uh, as we work our way from East Texas, swinging all the way back here. But I mentioned that spot back through the Carolinas, Mid-Atlantic, Virginia for some of the heavier rain, and then monitoring the Northern Bahamas as that rain chance is going to pick up. So Jamaica, you see our rain chance. It's going to be building scattered areas of rain and storms. They could become quite widespread by tomorrow to Thursday, which means we're going to have more around. Same thing, Cayman Islands, 40 to 50% chance entering into the very active period. Trinidad and Tobago isolated today, up to a 50% chance on Thursday. Monitoring flooding, won't take much more to give us some flooding in some spots. Barbados, 30 to 40% chance and a 30 to 40% chance the next three days in St. Lucia. Rain chance 30% today in Grenada, a 40% chance for tomorrow. An isolated shower is possible, St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Rain chance 30% today in Martinique, and a 40% chance tomorrow. Little more active in Dominica. We'll see a better chance of some rain uh, tomorrow and Thursday, at least some passing showers nearby. Then we swing back toward Guadalupe. You see tomorrow, we are up to a 50% chance. Then we swing back toward Antigua, Barbuda. We're going to stay active right? Uh, just like uh, yesterday, some spots are going to get some heavier rain the next few days. It's going to stay active as well around St. Kitts and Nevis and Montserrat, especially tomorrow. We'll be up to a 60% chance in a 70% chance tomorrow and Guilla and St. Bart. Some of that moisture from the north is actually feeding in. So St. Martin, St. Anastasia, scattered areas of rain possible today and then more widespread. Better chance as we work our way into tomorrow. And I mentioned Puerto Rico, it's going to stay active. Some of us, not a lot, but other Others, we're going to be dealing with some flooding in spots, and that includes the U.S. and British Virgin Islands, anywhere from Inagata uh, all the way back through uh, St. Croix. The elevated chance, just a lot more action around. Bahamas, we're going to be watching that moisture feeding in, especially the northern Bahamas again. Freeport in New Providence for a higher rain chance, 30 to 40 percent chance in the Turks and Caicos. Now back through the Dominican Republic and Haiti, I'm worried about the mudslides and the rivers the next several days, all the way through the end of the week. The elevated chance of some rain. Belize, same thing, an 80% chance today and still a 60% chance tomorrow. I'll be watching your comments. Again, we're getting some of that rain right now in parts of Belize. Aruba, Curacao, Bonaire, rain chance stays limited, holding at about 20%. 30% chance in Guyana. We'll see some passing showers. Just a 20, maybe 10 to about 20% chance in Suriname. Scattered areas of rainstorms becoming widespread as the week goes on. A higher chance in Cuba as the week goes on. Costa Rica, Panama, monitoring the rivers, monitoring the uh, mudslides. Same thing as we work our way back through Nicaragua. Some areas of heavier rain. Same thing as we work our way back toward Honduras, monitoring the flood threat. The rain chance is going to stay elevated through the end of the week, and we do that as well. Guatemala and El Salvador, some big rain totals, the rivers and the mudslides watching that. Mexico City also staying active. When we swing back toward the Yucatan Peninsula, Merida, we had some rain and storms around the last few days watching Campeche, uh, uh, Cancun, Cozumel, 
50 to 60 percent chance in northern uh, Colombia, northern Venezuela, 50 to 60 percent chance. And we swing back toward Bermuda, all eyes are really going to be on what's going on in the Atlantic to see if that area develops uh, further, and it will, and if it, how close it gets uh, to Bermuda. So an active period ahead, that tropical system in the Atlantic trying to form gradually. We will be watching that together, monitoring that track closely, several areas to watch. The next name on the list is Gabrielle. So thank you for sharing this information with your friends, family, community. Have a really good day ahead.